What is going on everybody? Welcome to yet another gameplay stream. Today we are going to be as ambitious as we can possibly be, uh, but I'll get more into that in just a second. I do want to mention really quickly our Kaldheim giveaway is still going on. If you would like to enter, all you have to do is follow us here on Twitch and that is it. We are going to be giving it away to one lucky follower here on Twitch uh, on the 8th of February. Uh, so we do have a couple weeks still until that's going to be ending, but I do want to just go ahead and say a huge thank you to everybody who has gone and followed us already, uh, and for everybody that shows up and hangs out on stream. I really do appreciate it, and it's great to have you here. So welcome to the community. Also, tomorrow at 1 p.m., we are doing our uh, card hunt part three for Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Still haven't found it. Got another box coming. If we don't get it, uh, or if we don't open it in that, that last box uh, for part three, we will keep going. Uh, we are going to try and find that. I'm hoping to get another Japanese box after this one if we need to. Uh, so that way we can get some more awesome alternate art planeswalkers. But without further ado, let's jump in. So I said we're going to be ambitious and I'm right. Uh, this is about as ambitious as we could possibly be. This is a deck of my own kind of culmination, which take that with a grain of salt because it's not good. Um, haven't had much time to play test it yet, but the idea here is... Persistent Petitioners allow you to tap four advisors and mill 12 cards, uh, which sounds awesome. That's a lot of mill. Uh, you can also have as many of these in your deck as you would like. Uh, so we've had we've gotten eight. Uh, we, we went for eight. But in particular, I'm pairing this with two other cards. Arcane Adaptation, which you can essentially choose a creature type and make every creature, whether it's in your deck, on the field, whatever, uh, a particular type in this case, Advisor. Uh, and then we also have Bruvac, uh, who is going to hopefully double up on the mill. Uh, if we can get this out, that just means that they have to mill extra, you know, instead of 12, it's 24, and we can hopefully make that happen pretty quickly. Uh, as far as the rest of the deck here, it's a lot of elemental ramp uh, for the most part. So I am playing into the elemental theme a little bit as well here. So if we need to, we can actually use this and make everything an elemental and hopefully get a little bit of extra value off of things like Risen Reef. Hey, Martiz. Uh, Leafkin Druid, and then of course Omnath in particular. So this is kind of another kind of side plan to the initial mill. Uh, we do have Genesis Ultimatum <clears throat> here at the top to hopefully get a lot of permanence on the field very quickly. Uh, and again, some ramp to help us get there with Leafkin Druid and then the Risen Reef as well. Uh, we do have a little bit of shock for some interaction, and then just Healer of the Glade as a basic healer for the deck. It also triggers the Risen Reef, which is why that's in there. And it's just a nice early blocker. It's not going to do a lot, but against mono red lists, things like that, it's a nice thing to just have out there early uh, in the game. Uh, as far as lands go here, we're sticking with 24. We're going to try it at 24, but um, I don't have high hopes. We're going to probably play around with this deck as we go through. Uh, Martiz saying Risen Reef is a solid card. You hate playing against it. Risen Reef is very, very good. Uh, I absolutely love Risen Reef. Fantastic value card. Um, but you're right. It is very frustrating to play against. So I understand. Like I said, this is not going to be the best deck in the world. But we're going to try it. Ace, yeah, this is absolute shenanigans. This is going to be hilarious. Uh, also, if I may ask, who plans to be here? We're going to stream for hopefully about an hour as always. But who's planning to be here the majority of that time? Because uh, I'm going to ask you to keep a record of our win and loss kind of ratio as we go through. If you'll just let me know in chat, I would super appreciate it. And also, how is everybody doing today? Is everybody doing well? Max, how are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Let's go ahead and get this out there. And we'll just go ahead and attack the one. Look at that value. Risen Reef goes nuts. Nuts, Max. Yes, absolutely. If we can get it, we are uh, hoping to do pretty well with it. They are very curious as to what in the world's going on right now, is my guess. <laughs> uh, worth noting, we can also just make them mill a card uh, with the petitioners as we go through, but obviously that's not really as exciting as 12 cards, so. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. So let's do this first. Let's just see what happens. I don't know how long it'll be, but I'll still keep track. Ace, thank you very much. I certainly appreciate it. Let's play another petitioners, which I'm sure they're just still on that like what the heck's going on plan. And I'm actually gonna pay two here. This sounds kind of weird, given that they played an Adon Adonto Vanguard, um, but 
we can just kind of give them, you know, the option of paying for life and keeping it or, you know, losing it out. So we'll see. Uh, I also just kind of want to leave up this shock here. Okay. Great card for sure. Don't like that. Uh, my playgroup is talking about going up to Grand Slam to buy our Kaldheim box. Max, you that's awesome. You absolutely should. Grand Slam has been very, very kind to us. Uh, we've worked very closely with them for quite a while, so we really do recommend checking them out. Let's go ahead and see if they want to pay for. If they do, that is fine. But we're going to make them pay it. Perfect. Okay, so let's do this. Go ahead and play this out. Unfortunately, we're not getting super far here, so we're just going to keep attacking for three at a time. <laughs> Doing the most. Look at that. Down to ten. <laughs> uh, yeah, Grand Slam has been a really huge uh, help to the channel over the years, so they, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Max is in the area, but uh, they have been, they're kind of a local game store in the Rock Hill, South Carolina area. They're really, really great to work with. They've been fantastic to us, like I've said, and um, we've certainly enjoyed the, uh, you know, the, the camaraderie that we've gotten from them. Um, and so we do plan to keep working with them, and there's certainly some really great people over there. If you are interested in picking up anything, please do. Um, they are really, really great. Okay. All right, well, we're just kind of getting lands at this point, uh, which isn't great, um, but here we are. I'm just going to attack here. We kind of need to get rid of Soren, which really sucks, but Silent Ascendant, hello. Welcome to the jankiest deck I think we have played in a very long time. We've played some janky decks on this channel, uh, but this is up there. This is really, really up there. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So not really even close on the Genesis Ultimatum. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a, a loss, I'm sure, but we're going to try. Yep. Dealing six. That's very, very good. Uh, let's see. So next turn, that's just lethal. So that's good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we just drew a bunch of lands, so I'm going to go ahead and concede. All right. First loss. Ace, let's get it. Anti-hype in the chat, guys. We did not get there. Uh, didn't really expect to, but we're going to try. I have hopes. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. <laughs> uh, unlucky match. Martiz, I will I will say it was slightly unlucky. I think it's also just that this deck is bad, but we really did draw a lot of land there. Um, so I think you're, you're definitely kind of right there. Um, but here we are. <laughs> How's everybody's week going? Has anybody got any weekend plans that uh, they're excited about? Anything fun coming up that they plan to do? Thank you, Max, for the anti-hype. This hand sucks, but we're going to try it. If we draw some land, we're actually okay. But um, This is kind of nice. I mean, that's something. Okay. Good. That's helpful. That gets us on math closer, so I'll, I'll take it. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Watch this get countered. No. Okay. Surprising. Bounce it. Uh, I'm gonna attack and see what happens. I don't think they've got anything that they could flash in that would kill it. Oh, they're just afraid to borrow. Oh, that's fine. Hey, Omega. How are you doing today, my friend? Good to see you. Appreciate you uh, stopping by every, pretty much every day. I'm going to relax, play some games, and paint some minis, and also study some this week. Very nice. Um, I'm really excited because we recently, uh, if, who all, hands up in the chat, who all is like following us on Instagram, uh, in particular Instagram? Uh, I'm actually going to offer the trade. If they want to throw a brazen borrower in front of us, that's fine. Um, so, if you have been on Instagram, you can check out our story. We did our first, and by we, I mean me. Uh, I don't have a specific... Uh, look forward to streaming more. Absolutely love it, Ace. Uh, Martiz. So, yeah, it's... I mean, 
expected. Um, I don't know why they would flash out the brazen bomb. Instance, but okay. Uh, you're following on Insta as well. Ace is following. Okay, so did anybody check out the story uh, that I posted yesterday, last evening? Uh, it was of a lightning bolt, bolt altar uh, that I did digitally, but it was painted, so you don't really use it Insta to make it. No problem. Um, I, in particular, wanted to make something a little bit different. We've done a lot of things in the past, but we've not done, like, actually hand-painted kind of altars. Uh, and so I wanted to give that a shot. And so I did get a new iPad recently, uh, and I was able to give it, you know, a go with Procreate, which is a really cool little app that you can use for that kind of stuff. And I think it turned out pretty well. It seems like you guys feel that way as well, which I really appreciate everybody because you could kind of vote on the story and see if you liked it, that kind of thing. Um, and I really appreciate it because it seems like a lot of you did. Um, we're going to Arcane Adaptation. Um, and we're actually going to go Elemental here. Um, so, but anyway, all that to say, uh, I did go ahead and order some of those, and I don't want to infringe on any kind of copyright stuff. Uh, I'm not trying to step on people's toes. Obviously, artists worked very hard to create those pieces of artwork. It's not fair for me to take credit for anything that they do. Um, but, that being said, we did hand paint some of it, and we're still crediting the artist on the card. So this kind of opens up a door for potentially selling some physical, digitally altered, you know, proxies, like that kind of stuff. Um, and I don't know if that's, like, I, I wanted to get your opinions on it, uh, it, is my takeaway. I wanted to see what you guys thought, because if it's something that you feel is like, nah, don't do that, because that's kind of infringing on some stuff, I get it. If it's not, and if you guys are excited about that kind of thing, then we might try and put it up in our store. Wow, they packed of negation it. Um, but again, I just want to make sure that we're not stepping on people's toes there because I do, I, I don't like that. I know that that's, you know, kind of up in the air thing. So, uh, Silent Ascendant, they need Dad Commander to Arena. Yeah, they do. Um, they've got Brawl, but like, Brawl sucks. <laughs> also, we're losing this game heavily. All right, let's try it. All right. So at this point, yeah, we're we're pretty dead here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so do you guys feel like it's okay to sell that kind of thing, or do you feel like that's just not not even on the table? We shouldn't do that. Is my is my question to you guys. So let me know in chat what you think. Um, I know people do commissioned altered art. You could even give some for promotional stuff. Yeah, I've so giveaways and stuff like that. Ace. 100% that's on the table. Um, not a problem there. Uh, how's the worker? What are the major changes? Oh, you're, you guys are talking about Commander. I see. Um, tried doing Altered Art on a physical card and it sucked. <laughs> I see you, Ace. Um, yeah, it's hard for me. I'm much more of a digital individual. Um, I'm very computer-based, so like, in everything that I do. And so for me, it's a lot easier to do digital altars. Um, I am not as talented at the actual arts, so never tried it. Omega Commander is very fun. It's not a format I play a lot, but it is absolutely fantastic. It's a great way to um, really kind of hone in on a strategy and find a lot of extra cards that hopefully help you get there. Also, I don't know what the heck's going on with Arena. It's being freaky. Uh, let's try and reconnect. Okay, we're exiting. We're coming back here. Uh, let's reopen i've been having a lot of has anybody else had a lot of arena issues lately just out of curiosity i've had a lot i mean the stream seems fine i don't see any you know unstab unstable peaks or anything like that in the stream but for whatever reason arena seems to be struggling lately also we are 0 and 2 all right i i def I, I want to get one win that's my goal uh, in queuing games where I disconnect a lot. Omega, okay. Well, good to know it's not just me, but I hate that for everybody, of course. Um, this is a weird hand, but sure, why not? Kind of sucks, because, like, we're going to be behind a little. But we're going to try. Uh, 
I get not wanting to take away from artists. They worked on the card, but they already got paid. That's fair. Um, what do we give away here? I think it's just healer. Uh, you picked a legendary creature or planes are commander for other, no card. Oh, yeah. Just explaining commander. Um, let's play petitioners. I want to save the Leafkin Druid a little bit here uh, to hopefully proc the Risen Reef. I'm expecting this is going to be a really, like, heavy discard kind of deck, though, so we'll see. Uh, custom full art lands. Yeah, actually, Ace, so we have some custom lands that are on our website, so if, uh, Commander's the best format all out, for, format all out says. Uh, Ace, we have our space lands, which are composite works that I did, um, and they are up on our website. You can buy those right now. Uh, in fact, somebody did just the other day. Um, sure. Alright, let's do this first. That way you could have the majority by you and not change the... Yeah. So, we... That was the goal of doing this, was that we wouldn't be, you know, infringing on anything. anything. Um, but this, this is a little bit different. This is obviously kind of in a separate vein, and so I just wanted to see what everybody's thoughts were on it. Good news here is I'm not expecting a lot of sweepers. Uh, hopefully. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two. So we actually can Genesis ultimate on this turn. That would be nice. Um, maybe there's hope yet. I'm going to say no blocks. Is it four cups? So, Omega, this is just a weird deck, dude. Like... <laughs> I don't know exactly how to phrase this one because it's very, very, very strange. Um, inner's tap, inner's tap. Okay. Let's see, we're going to deal four to something. Um, oh, we do get to put a counter on something as well. Actually, put it here. Uh, target an elemental we control. I'm going to keep putting them there. We're going to eat this Nighthawk, get it out of there. Ooh, and we got a shock. That's very nice. Let's start loading this up with some counters as well here. Uh, putting counters on things is actually helpful for getting around certain... Uh, I think we just leave up shock here. Can we activate? Uh, not quite. Next turn we'll be able to. Um, putting counters on stuff is a great way to protect against Heartless Act, because while it does kill like the counters, it can't kill the creature. Which is pretty important. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this. Uh, also, if anybody does want to pick up those uh, full art lands that we've created or merch, like this shirt right here, uh, you can do so. Or my hat, actually, which is also it resolved. Um, you can pick all of that up over at our store. That link is in the, in the, the chat there, so if anybody's interested. Slaggy for me. Jeez, I can't watch. All out. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, it doesn't seem to be lagging, I don't think, for anybody, but let me know if anybody else is having issues. All right. We're going advisor. We're going to play this. <laughs> We're going to play this. All right. Take action. Take action. It's lagging a bit for you as well. Weird. Um, not 100% sure why that would be. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's pay to... Let's play another advisor. Sorry about that, everybody. Oh! We got a win! Holy crap. I didn't expect that. Uh, you think refreshing helps, Ace? Yeah, I'm having network issues on the game at least, too, so that might be part of what is going on. Um, I may restart the game again really quick here. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and exit out. I don't know what's going on, but every time I, I there's little bugs and stuff like that that keep kind of popping up. So uh, I apologize. It's a bit of a, a glitchy stream today, guys. All right, let's jump back in. <clears throat> That's our first win, though. Uh, very surprised that we actually got a win. Feel pretty good about it. Is it gonna work? Ah, there we go. Maybe. 
Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we didn't actually get to show off the mill part of that deck, but we did, or in that game, but we did actually win. So, I'm happy about that. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Uh, you know, I will keep this. It's a little weird. Kind of hoping for some middle ground stuff here, but um, well, that helps. I'm not gonna worry about leaving this untapped for now. Um, we'll find a, a time to be able to play the shocks, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, looks like the gates deck. Yeah, mazes end. Uh, some positive news about being against this deck is sometimes it's very slow. Also, selling all the same. I already paid. Uh, these are digital altars, though, uh, Ace. So there is a slight difference in that. Um, while I did pay to get them printed, um, they are still printed. They are not, like, true to life cards. Uh, it's the same as our proxies, for the record. Are you downloading something by any chance? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm worried about a Gates Ablaze. But let's go ahead and attack this here. Just trying to hit lands, honestly. Um, intercept. Yeah, Ace, I don't have anything going on in the background. I've double checked that one. Um, gonna get this down first. Chat, anyone has a good deck list for Lura Sack? Uh, there's a lot of great deck lists for those stuff. Okay. Let's play a Leaf Kindred. Hope to hit two lands off the top, and then we're in pretty good shape. Uh, surprisingly. Ooh, that's helpful. That does make, uh, the petitioners kind of work here. So, let's hope we can actually do it. Alright. Uh, where do you find most of your deck lists? Primarily Aether Hub or all over? So, it depends, Jimbo. Um, this one I just made up. It's not very good. It's just kind of silly. Oh, they got us. Um, we don't have any basic lands in this deck, actually, either. Um, but, yes, uh, if I'm looking for decks, it's either between the deck suggestions channel in our Discord, which I do look at from time to time, or, uh, it's... It's just from Aether Hub, um, and I usually kind of have an idea in mind. So, like a lot of what I try and do is find something interesting, or find an interesting card maybe um, that I really kind of want to see if we can make it work. And if it does, that's great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But it's just worth a try. All right, take action. Enters tap. Draw a card. That's fine. Take action. Enter staff. And draw a card. Okay. So. We can play Leaf Kin Druid. Unfortunately, we can't play the Petitioners. That'd be really cool because now we have all the advisors out, but that's fine. Alright. Uh. I'm just gonna shock him. Why not? Alright. Uh, I do have to discard some stuff here. I think one arcane and whoops, it's only one, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. You hate to see it, but it's fine. Okay. Um. Made from scratch. Yeah, I did make this from scratch. It's not good. It's dumb. Uh. <laughs> to be brutally honest, but it is very fun. Right. That's fine. Um, all right. <laughs> all right, well, we at least get to do the thing a little bit here. Mill 12. <laughs> um, How many cards are left in our deck? Okay, not a ton. Um, take the action. Let's do this. Gain some life and hopefully hit a land. Okay, well, that actually is fine. Let's play that too. Cool. 
Uh, mine from scratch. The pre-built are five to six at best. Yeah. Um, Omega, I'm glad that that lag is gone for you. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I don't know exactly where that came from, but um, yeah, pre-builds are like, me, eh, not the not the most exciting to be honest. All right, so do we go for cool points? I think we do, right? We got 19 cards left. Yeah, we're going for cool points. Oh yes. All right, that's great. All right. <laughs> All right, here's here's the ah uh, man. They keep giving up. <laughs> All right, well we're two and two, uh, and we had it there too. So let's get some hype in the chat, guys. We made it happen. Uh, that was kind of exciting. All right, <laughs> that was a silly one. Um, I love being up against the gate stack because as long as you're a little bit faster, you're fine. Uh, and it's pretty easy to be a little bit faster. Yeah, it's gonna it is good or normal like any other day now. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's see how this goes. Also, guys, look, I got a new card in. It's a Vengevine, but a promo art Vengevine. You guys can really not see that, but that's okay. Um, there's tapped. Do I have? I'm looking for sleeves. I actually do have sleeves somewhere. Um do this and let's just go leave Kendra right here. This just gives us some ramp so we can get to some other things faster. I'm, I'm gonna try a different order this time. Normally I would play the petitioners first but uh, I said this deck was bad because I think it is but that's okay. All right let's drop this. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna pay two here. Just on the off chance we get to shock something. Uh, if not, that's fine. It looks like Grixis, so probably not going to find a shock target, but it may find a, a Planeswalker or something like that at some point here. Tomefowl Lich? What? Alright, I did not expect that. Uh, this is not a card I would expect to see ever, but that's fine. Um, Alright, what do we need? We need blue, and we need... Yeah. Let's go blue. Let's play the arcane adaptation. Let's actually go elemental here. Reason being, now if we play the petitioners and there's a land on top, it's a free land. Perfect. See? Look how great that worked out. Alright. Here's to hoping we live for the next turn and can drop Genesis Ultimatum and then go crazy. Okay. Sure. Uh, not gonna block here. They can draw their card. Oh, this is a troll deck. Yeah, this is a very trolly deck. Okay, let's Genesis. Um, oh, that's perfect. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. Enters tapped. That's. Fine. All right, get a couple cards here at the very least. Fantastic. Also great. And yeah, let's play you out. Uh, any good Grixis with the Nicol Bolas at the moment? Um, yeah, I think there are some relatively decent Nickel Bolas decks out there. I mean, Grixis is one of those that, I mean, it's inherently going to be control and it's inherently going to be discard focused because there's so much of that in Historic. Um, and then there's also just tons of sweeper options, things like that. So there's a lot of good stuff you can do. Um, personally, it's not the the favorite of con the control decks in my opinion. I think it's very fun, but I don't think it's the best. Oh, sad day. Alright. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, clearly they've got some really cool stuff. This is a different version, I would say. Uh, this is not the same kind of deal that you would expect to see. Uh, let's do this. Let's say advisor. Play you. Play you. And play you. Alright, and now we just kind of have to hope. <laughs> uh, good news here is I'm all too happy to kind of trade some stuff off. Uh, if you be. To make him think twice about attacking again. It's not really worth the, the two damage, so.
All right. That's it. Uh, I love the card, but I've never used it in any deck. Just think it's a really cool one. Yeah, there's a lot of... Well, so Omega, which Nicol Bolas are you specifically talking about? Because there's a few. Um, is it the Ravager, this one? Because uh, this one's really good. Um, if it's the, the like, God Pharaoh, is it Dragon God? There's multiple Nicol Bolas cards out there right now. Are they able to actually spin the wheel on this? Golos? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, we're just getting unlucky. Uh, just for the sake of it, let's mill a card. <laughs> oh! They have Chromatic Lantern. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Then they could have spun the wheel on Golos, but they didn't. I honestly wouldn't have done that, but that's okay. The Planeswalker, which there's multiple, is it specifically this Planeswalker Omega? There's like four. Um, I mean, we can just sack a land, that's fine. Thankfully we've got a million hits, so I don't really care about that. Um, chances are we're losing this game though. Okay, but this is the card to get us out of it, so let's see if we can do it. So we hit for three. Uh, we can't. Uh, let's do this. Yes, we are running a 60 card deck. Oh. Interesting. Um, this doesn't win us the game, but... This does mill a lot. <laughs> uh, down to 23 cards. So that's something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then this one. Yeah, this one's really good. Uh, I'm going to discard this. That's fine. No worries, Omega. No worries at all. Yeah, this one's very good. Uh, I don't like how good this card is. Um, but this is the one we're actually hunting for tomorrow. Uh, so if you're interested in getting a free one, great to hang out tomorrow. Um, I'm assuming they're just going to get a sweeper here. I mean, that's probably what I would do just to get rid of all this stuff. But Yeah, okay. One, two. They can't play it, though. That's kind of important. And they're holding this up. Do this, draw a card. Ah. Um. Hmm. What's the best play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're about to hit us with an Ugin. In which case, they're going to hit for four. Okay, so I think we hold off and then instant speed petitioners to mill for 12. I think that's the best thing we can do. Get them down to eight cards in their deck. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Hope we can get there, but probably not. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and mill now. Um, they can Planeswalker ability to do some stuff here, so I'm just trying to get rid of everything we can. Alright, we got them down to 8 cards, but I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Uh, they just get to sweep for 4. That hits everything but Golos. Why 5? Why did they do 5? Did they need to? I don't think they needed to do that. Oh, they- oops. Yeah, they didn't- they didn't have to do that. That was bad. <laughs> Uh, Uro in this deck, even with the mill combo, should fit well. Uro is very fun um, for a lot of reasons. I don't think we necessarily need it here, but yeah, they got us. 
All right. We're not doing great with this stuff, but we knew that going in. We're not here to do great. We're here to do cool stuff. Um, I think we're going to do like one more game maybe. Uh, and that might be it for today just because this deck is so janky. Like once we get it once, that's kind of all we need to do. So uh, might be a bit of a shorter stream today, but I certainly appreciate everybody coming to hang out. Uh, please make sure you check out our store. That link is in chat. Uh, and then of course, make sure you tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern for the card hunt where we hopefully will find a nickel bolus. It's going to be a fun time. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a keep. Uh, we lead off with Breeding Pool, hit Hinterlin Harbor, drop Petitioner. Oh. Eh, sure. It saves us a little bit of damage, if nothing else. Like, Or it eats a removal spell, which is kind of silly, but if they... If they use a Fatal Push on Healer into Glaive, that's fine by me. <laughs> I assume they take Reef here. They're really considering not, though. I mean, they could take Petitioners, but that seems really bad. Also, their username is Melon Danger, and I love that. They took petitioners. Wow. Really? That seems really bad. Um, Alright, well, I'm just going to play out petitioners. And pass. Easy enough. Uh, with the moth that recasts creatures on the flying counter and crocs with enchant. Yeah, there is a nice little combo there. Um, I'm just gonna block with healer. That's where they shouldn't have pumped yet. Like, they should have waited. That seems strange. You get infinite discard and damage when you pull it off. Yeah, it's a very cool combo. I don't think this individual necessarily has the best idea in mind. Um, alright, we'll pass. We're going to take a hit here from the knight, most likely. Um, the other option, I guess, is just to block with the petitioners and then shock it next turn, which isn't a bad way to go. Especially given they've invested so much into it at this point. Like, Okay. Omega, yeah, I've, that combo I've played a little bit before. It's a very fun one. Okay. Socks and discards. Um... Okay, I think we're on the elemental plan here. Play healer. Great. Um. Might as well attack, it's not really gonna kill us too, so why not? Uh, chances are we're just going to end up losing out, though. This Rankle, I don't think we can do a ton about. Okay, so this is weird, but what I'm going to do is shock the Risen Reef, so that way this fizzles, and then they can't play that side of it. Uh, just for the record, if you didn't know you could do that, if you can fizzle this side of the spell, they no longer can play that card. Uh, which is really important. All right. I think this person just found a mono black deck and didn't know exactly the best way to play it. Um, I think they're going to win, but I don't think that they... I, I think they're doing things in kind of an odd order. Okay. I'm going to let them choose to discard a card, because they will. We just shock in response, which is great. They can castle Lockcoin, I suppose, but... Oh no. 
they're doing that before that resolves. That that's so bad. Um, okay. I'm gonna be really ashamed when we lose to this individual. Not that I think they're. I think they just found the deck that they thought was cool and decided to play it. Um, I'm gonna say no blocks here. If we find a shock, we can kind of double up here. Yep. Yeah, they're all just gonna dis- they're always going to, and then they should be lock pointing after the fact, which they did this time, but they haven't been very keen on that up until now. Alright, well we just play the petitioners. That's all we can do. Good news here is we can kind of triple block as needed, do whatever we, we have to do there. Hammer it, huh? This really quickens the clock, though. We're we're kind of in bad shape here. <clears throat> They're thinking very hard about what to. <laughs> All right, they got it. Oh yeah, yeah. They shouldn't have used that before the trigger. That was a mistake. I'm going to triple block here and just kill this thing. We're dead anyway, so I don't really care that we... Yeah, I'd rather kind of get further in. Yep. All right, guys, this was a weird one. Uh, not gonna lie, this deck was really fun. It was a cool idea, uh, but it was obviously not super great. Um, and that was kind of the idea. It was supposed to be a little bit jank, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Make sure to enter the giveaway if you're not already following us here on Twitch. That is how you enter. Excuse me. Uh, loss, loss, win, win, loss, loss. There we go, Ace. Thank you so much. We played six games, so that's pretty good. Um, uh, but regardless, this deck is not ideal, uh, so don't play it. Uh, thank you, Ace, for keeping track of the score this time around. Thank you guys again for sticking around. I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern for the continuation of the Nickel Bolas Dragon God card hunt. Hopefully we'll find it, and then hopefully one of you guys in chat will be getting it. So thank you guys again. I will see you very, very soon uh, for another live stream. Thank you.